always appreciate swinging by the channel, taking the time to see what I got going on. And what do I have here tonight? Well, this episode featuring one out of Goose Island Beer Company. So it has been a minute since I've had a Goose Island beer, and it's been even longer since I reviewed one here on the channel. Have I ever reviewed one here on the channel? I don't know if I have or not. But what I have here is their Neon Bear Hug. It is an IPA coming in at 7% alcohol by volume. So definitely just cool artwork. And I've seen this around, I don't know, years. So I don't know how long it's been out or anything like that. Uh, I can tell you, this is, I don't know, October 22? Yeah, I don't know how. Yeah, maybe that's the best buy date on here. I don't really know. Um, but uh, this is one I've seen around, and uh, I've been actually wanting to try it. Uh, I got another one. Do they have a hug series, bear hug series, something like that? I picked up two of them, actually, in a build-your-own six-pack. Um, figured 7% uh, alcohol. I'd go ahead and knock this one out tonight. Um, I've been looking at it in the refrigerator thinking, I wonder if I'm going to like that. So tonight is when we find out. And it is, uh, I guess, just an American IPA. It just says IPA on here. I'm assuming it's just a generic American uh, IPA. It's probably what it would say on Untapped or something like that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, brewed and packaged, uh, Goose Island Beer Company, Chicago, Illinois. Doesn't really say much about it. It's an IPA. has 7% alcohol by volume. And it has cool artwork, right? So I'm going to crack this thing open, get a pour on it, and uh, see what it's all about. And if you are new to the channel, think about becoming a subscriber. I can definitely use the subs. And let's see here. What's it going to look like? Looks like just a, a yellowy straw color to Oh, that is cl that is clear. Oh my. Set that can up there. Wow, is that clear? There's no haziness to it. There's no murkiness. That is just clear right there. Damn, I was not expecting it to be that clear. That's just a straw, uh, a yellow to a straw color, honestly. And it's way more clear than I was expecting. Uh, anyhow, it does got a nice head up on top of that. We got about a finger and a half. Uh, there's actually a nice frothiness to the head, honestly. There are some uh, larger bubbles popping away in there, but by and far, just a, a nice frothiness to it. It smells like it's typical IPA. You get grapefruit, some citrus, some tropical, pineapple, papaya. I could even say some mango, grapefruit, whatever you wanted to pick out. It's just that uh, that just that standard generic um, IPA aroma, and I this this is seven percent. Just the clarity, it just looks like it's going to be so light bodied. So, anyhow, that's pretty much it on the aroma. You see what the appearance is there? Now let's get a drink on this thing. Super light body. It's very crisp. Uh, it's got that wet, watery, uh, refreshing uh, thing going on with it. But man, it is so clear. When I first poured it, I, I was thinking, oh, this is going to be like very sessionable. Um, but it is 7%. Um, there, it's a little bit more than what I would say a session IPA. So, maybe um, a piney resinous to this. You know, just, just super light body. Piney resinous. Pick out your favorite, um, you know, generic IPA uh, fruit flavor. Whether you want to go, I get a little bit of citrusiness to this. Uh, my, maybe a little bit of a citrusy bite, but it does have 
uh, a lot of that tropical, a uh, non-discreet, generic, tropical, um, you know, flavor with it, non-discreet, I'm going to say just very generic citrus, very generic tropical notes to this thing, tasting notes, uh, you know, aroma. But I will say, honestly, it's super easy drinking. Uh, it's clean. Uh, it's not offensive. Uh, I don't think you should piss too many people off. Um, I could drink, uh, I could slam these in a cooler on a hot day and, and I could really knock some out if I'm being honest with you. It's not great, but it's not horrible. Uh, middle of the road uh, IPA. Uh, with that being said, you know, I like IPA. So to me, a middle of the road IPA is like 394, 3.94. I'm going to probably give this, uh, I'm going to punch this in at about a four out of five. It's not hateful or offensive. I'm just stunned at how light and clear looking that thing is, man. And honestly, it has some decent lacing going on, and I got about half this thing gone, so can't really complain too much about that. So, yeah, I have no problem at four out of five. Uh, you had this before. What are your thoughts on it? Uh, drop them down there in the comments. I appreciate it. Become a subscriber. Hit the notification bell down there. And like always, thanks for watching.